Welcome back to Barnum's Auto. What we got here is a Chevrolet S10. It's a 4.3. We're going to be taking the uh, AC lines, flipping them over, take the fan shroud off so we can get a good full access to the serpentine belt and put a new one on. Chevy S10. It's a, this is an LS base model. It's four wheel drive. Get a running little pickup truck. Personally, I wouldn't own it. But that's what we got going on here today. We got a 5 6 tanks socket. Bust these here loose. Supposed to be three of them. There's only two. That's where the third one's supposed to be at. Get that loose enough. Get this one loose. <clears throat> and then we got two on this side. So we got two on that side. Put y'all down for just a brief moment. I'll hook the extension up. And so we can get the other four off. Sorry, I have not been making no videos here lately. Just been having a hard time. Things has gotten pretty tough with me. Got a sick granddaddy. He's got prostate. Four. Stage four prostate cancer. And some other issues. Family members staying with my granddaddy when they, sh they shouldn't be there. But, anyways, I'm making, I'm managing. Granddaddy's getting. To feel them better and whatnot, but as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start some of this video and show y'all the next stage. And we'll be right back. Okay, now we got the fan upper fan trial off and just took the high and low side AC line. Pulled it upwards like that to clear this corner and popped it right out. Got it lying down on the ground. There's our tensioner pulley right here. There y'all go. <clears throat> We're going to get a breaker bar. We're going to de detension that. So we can get the serpentine belt off. And we're going to put the new one on. <clears throat> this here is the little setup I got. I got a ratchet. And I got a hand wrench. The, the box in through the handle, handle of the ratchet handle. 
You give me a little bit more leverage. There we go. Detention. There's the alternator. See the belt off of the alternator. So now we can release. We can set this down. Build off. But I don't want to bore y'all with that. We'll be back when I get it completely taken off. Alright. I'm going to try to show y'all. Might not be able to show y'all the actual cracks on this side that we are on now but it's pretty shiny and of course there's some there's some little strain nylon whatever you want to call that there's some right there and it really actually does got some cracks in here I was looking at it just a while ago and you can see the lines of the rib of the belt. The customer knows it hasn't been changed in a while. And he was wanting it changed. So he called me up. And I'm getting it done for him. And we're going to put the new one on you can go online and get this belt I don't know what website he went on if y'all want that one he said it was cheaper than going to the auto store but we're going to pause for a moment so I can get this belt started. Alright guys, I got it back on with the new belt. There's the old one. And there's a new one. Some people say you got to take the fan off. No, you don't. Just make sure you take the upper fan shroud off and pay attention on how you put the belt back on, and you'll be good. Thank you for watching Barnum's Auto, everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is a 2003. Chevrolet S10 four wheel drive LS base is a 4.3. Thank you for watching, people.